Hello students and this is a new video on uh, ISI entrance selected question solution. Today I will be solving many questions on selected uh, questions from test of mathematics of the 10 plus 2 level book. And I have selected the questions on the request which you have made in order to solve the questions. Okay, so let's start. The first question is requested by Harish and the question is 388 number question from test of mathematics. Uh, don't worry, I will tell you the question so that you don't need to find it again. If x, y, z are arbitrary positive numbers. So x, y, z are arbitrary positive numbers satisfying an equation is also given that is 4xy plus 6yz plus 8zx equal to 9. So this equation is also provided. So then they want the maximum possible values of the product x, y, z. So for example one equation three unknown so we can't get a perfect value but we can get a structured form. Remember that when this kind of things are given you always have one option that is AMGM inequality okay so the sum of these is this 8yz so if I just take the sorry 8zx if I just take the average of them that is divided by 3 and that is greater than equal to that is greater than equal to 4xy 6yz 8zx whole to the power 1 third. that is AMGM inequality I hope you know that so if you just recalculate the structure you will uh, get it over here so this can be represented by 9 after replacing and the RHS is x square y square z square so it is simply x y z whole q so here 9 it is 9 so 3 the LHS is 3 or just let me write it like this and uh, 4 into 6 into 8 into x square y square z square whole to the power 1 by 3 this to the power 1 by 3 so here we can see that uh, LHS is 9 so if we just change the side now if you keep on like this so this is 3 greater than equal to 4 into 3 to the power 1 third into x y z whole to the power to third okay so now cubing both side will lead us to 4464 and changing the side so 3 cube greater than equal to 64 into 3 into x y z so simply x y z if we just change the side is less than equal to 3 by 8 so hence the answer is 3 by 8 so the maximum possible value of the product of x y z is 3 by 8 next question is being asked by Sanjana and the question is question number 577 so in this question it's a straight line based question actually A straight line segment AB A, and this is B of length moves when it ends on the axis. The locus of the point P is such that AP is to BP, AP is to BP, AP, AP is to BP is 2 is to 1. So 2 is to 1 okay so now we have to find the relationship between x y and a okay a is an arbitrary point here so there are some options given first option is 9 x square plus 9 y square equal to 4 a square option b is 9 x square plus 36 y square equal to 4 a square option c is 9 y square plus 36 x square equal to 4 a square 
and the last option is 9x square plus 4y square equal to a square so let's see what happens in the solution region let a is 0 comma q and b is p comma 0 and let this particular point p equal to h k okay so we can write h equal to 2p divided by 3 and k can be equal to q divided by 3 okay so from this p we can get it as 3h by 2 and the q as 3k so we can say that p square plus q square equal to a square as it is moving on a straight line and moving on the ends on the axis it forms a locus of a circle so we just represent it with the points 9a square by 4 plus 9k square equal to a square and just multiplying both sides it is 9 8 square plus 36k square equal to 4a square and at the end we just need to substitute x with y and we can see that the option v is the correct answer okay now the next question is with respect to the idea of uh, trigonometry question number 594 and uh, the question is tan of n by 4 into sine squared x so this value lies between which interval that's it that is the question so here if it is like this so we can say that here so in order to do the sine interval we at least know that 0 sine squared x lies between 0 to 1 so obviously here 0 sine n by 4 if we just multiply n by 4 so sine square x less than equal to n by 4 next time what we have to do is just take tan both sides tan 0 is 0 so there is 0 tan of n by 4 sine square x and this is tan this is uh, by 4 so simply 1 okay so this is the basic uh, structure of this kind of sums where uh, you have to form it okay so tan pi by 4 sine squared x and this whole thing as within this next question okay so the option is 0 to 1 so option is b next uh, i'm doing a similar question over here it's 596 that is if fx equal to 1 minus x by 1 plus x then find f of f of cos x that's a question very simple question so f of f of cos x we need to find out so f of first we need to find f of cos x so that is 1 minus cos x by 1 plus cos x just replace x with the cos x so this is tan square x by 2 in the very next step f of f of cos x is coming so this is 1 minus tan square x by 2 by 1 plus tan square x by 2 this can be ultimately written as cos x itself hence according to our given option here also option b is correct wait for finding new videos to come there will be solving many more questions on tomato and isi beast as well